<clears throat> yeah, mm-hmm. clear your throat. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Mike's working. Yeah, is it? That's bink, good. bink, bink. Yep, she's testes, working. Testes, one, two. All right. We are live. We are live. BS with the guys live again. That's what this is. Yeah, that's what we're called on Spotify. Because we're Spotify people now. The delay is so weird. Well, deal with it. We there's we have to do a, lo- a delay. Otherwise... Charles Bronson, how's it going tonight? In here every time. Yep. I love it. It's awesome. I like your picture there, your profile picture too. That's funny. <laughs> See the eclipse is soon. The eclipse, yes. Yeah. Yep. So what's going to happen? Are they going to blow up the moon? Uh, who? Who's they? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know anything. You're I, famous. You know everything. I can't tell you. Oh, okay. That's a secret. I got hairs all over me. We have a great Pyrenees, and oh, it's hard to keep up with that, I guess. <laughs> hairs everywhere. Yeah, he sheds like crazy. He said we'd never have a dog in the house, and here we are. Well. That's stupid. He's a good dog, and he's until he's right. trying to kill us. Yeah, that's not good. So the eclipse, yeah. Yeah, did you know you can look at it when it is fully covered? I wouldn't take that chance. Uh, I'm not. I mean, you won't even be able to see it, I don't think. Well, Because it's, it's not a ring of fire eclipse. It's a total eclipse. Oh, so this you... guy says he'll be in Arkansas for the eclipse. So, oh, yeah? That's kind of cool. Yeah. They're we live here. expecting uh, that our um, population is going to go crazy during that. And then after, of course, people have been slowly filtering in. But then after the eclipse, everybody trying to get out of here is going to be just gridlocked, they said. So oh, yeah. Well, I, I will, will be, be staying anywhere. home. Yeah. Should so I just stay home, too? From work? Sure. Yeah. Might as well. Yeah, might as well. Yeah. They said that uh, the eclipse comes from a Latin word, which means to hide or conceal oculation. That's what <laughs> I heard. Nerd. I know. For all the other nerds out there. The moon is 400 times smaller than Earth. So we were talking about how quick it'd be, like if you wanted to take a trip, if you lived on the moon. Oh, yeah. So hotel rooms are $750 a night, wow, in Ohio. Yeah. I don't even think it's going to fully go through there in Ohio, is it? Uh, it's pretty close, yeah. Is it? It might, yeah. Uh, I know it's close. That's right by the path. Ohio's right up there. Well, I know it's up there, but I didn't think... Unless maybe Southern Ohio, huh? Maybe. I have no idea. To pull up a map and check that out. Yeah, it's going to be crazy, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> I said that, uh, actually, my daughter came to me last night and said, um, she said, well, she says, you better uh, watch this one because you're never going to see another one. It's in a couple of decades. So I'm like, what? <laughs> decades? <laughs> that's 20 years. So. They did say, though, that in order to see one from this exact spot, you know, a full eclipse, like this band of darkness going across, to be, for that eclipse to occur in the same spot, it'll be like another 475 years or something, so. Is that all? That's something to look forward to. Yeah. Seeing that again. I'll be ready for that. So it does. It goes right across to Ohio. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was wrong. I should learn my states sometime, I guess. Yeah. I don't know my states very well, apparently. Gator Tail's back asking about Bigfoot and E.T. Who would win Bigfoot or E.T.? Yeah. Well, we don't know what kind of powers E.T. has. For yeah, sure. exactly. So, or Bigfoot, for that matter. Some speculate he's, like, from other dimensions and stuff, maybe an alien, so he might have some powers, too. And obviously, he can cloak himself, so he could just hide from E.T., probably. And E.T.'s got the little finger thing going on, you know. Think how trippy the eclipse would have been, like, back in the day. We were kind of talking about that off-stream. Like... Think about that. They, I mean, they didn't really know a whole lot. Like, if you go back primal, primal, where they weren't studying the stars and stuff yet. Imagine, That'd be crazy. yeah, imagine you're just out there farming, and all of a sudden the moon starts covering the sun. You'd be like, ah, oh, what'd over. we do? What'd we do? Great, just great. Putin is here. He says, "My old ass is here, late, but I am here." Shoptheguy.com. Yep. It's right. Check it out. It's right there. Right there. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it is. But if you um, 
there's also shirts and mugs and all that stuff on there too. Hats. And yep. We got everything because like we're professionals. These hats that I'm wearing, if you can see that. So the eclipse, yeah, you'll be at work. You think they'll actually let you at least go outside and watch it? Oh yeah. If I even go to work. <laughs> if you go to work. I might call in. I'll be sick that day. There was one in 1979, huh? Yeah, I would, that would freak you out if you didn't know what was happening. I mean, it's still, even now, people know what's happening. It still freaks people out. Yeah, there's still conspiracy, conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories and stuff going it's around. It's just a different freak out. Right. Yeah. All the speculation. Uh, is this the end of the world, a sign from God? Or no, I mean, it's just something. <laughs> it's, just, it's just something that happens. It's a cycle, just like uh, yeah. know, the wind or... The sun supposedly rising and setting, which we're actually moving. It's not moving. So. Well, will we? Well, I mean, science. <laughs> so here's something. Not gonna look at the eclipse. You're already blind. Well, they got them glasses. We actually tested them out today. Put them on and just looked at the sun just to see how effective they were. They say, if and they're I good, can't see. Sh- <laughs> if they're good glasses, you should be able to put them on, look around outside, and not see anything at all. Then you know they're good. So you look up at the sun, you can see that, of course, through there. But that's kind of cool, I guess. I wonder if you took a pair of those and cut them. Because they say it can actually damage the camera on your phone. I don't know how that's possible since you could take, like, a video of the fo- of the sun normally with your phone. Yeah. But uh, if you just taped one of those things over your phone, that, like, one side of the lens from those glasses. You're going to try it? Probably. I'll use your phone, just in case. Yeah. Yeah. What are you looking up here now? Walmart Plus. They have uh, glasses at Walmart. <laughs> Didn't ask. <laughs> so you're talking about how now... In because the, the self-checkout, scan-and-go things, their they're crime, their theft rate mm-hmm. went up so much that they lost money. Well, what did they expect? No, I don't know. If you make people work, then, I mean, obviously, they're going to be like, hmm, well, benefits. I just think if you use those, you should get 10% off your purchases. You know? Yeah. Because you're really helping them out. It's a person they didn't have to hire. Right. But now they're going to charge you, apparently, to use it. Yeah. $100 so, a year. So you not only work for Walmart briefly without getting paid, now you have to pay them to do their job. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? And people will do it. Well, yeah. Because they're so used to it now. Maybe that was a scam the whole time. Let's get everyone used to this, then they'll pay for it. Yeah. See, yeah, and they're just blaming it on the theft. Right, yeah, because if they would have just dropped it and not, right. you know. Everybody wouldn't have went to those. Everyone would have been like, I ain't paying 100 bucks to work for you guys. Yeah. You have the privilege to work for us at our cash. Now price. everyone's like, well, you know, <clears throat> I won't lie, self-checkouts are pretty handy. I try to avoid them. If, I, if I'm in a real big hurry and I have like two things, then... I'll make them do it for me. Yeah. But otherwise, because I'm not going to, I don't work there. And it's not that I have anything against them. I feel bad for the people that work there because they get cut for stupid stuff like that. Yeah. Now you got to pay to check your stuff out. Yeah, it's. That's ridiculous. It's goofy. Yeah. But. I wonder if then you got to worry about other stores will fall in line with that also. Yeah, I mean. Dollar store. Start charging us to even use the store. Dollar store, they might charge you like 50 cents to do it or something. Well, think about this. Like, think there's so many monopolies in the world now, even though we live in a capitalistic market where, you know, it's free markets, which isn't true. But you have monopolies and stuff. If they're so needed and there's no other businesses in existence because they've got all shut down because of, I don't know, something that, you know, happens where the whole world gets shut down. I don't know what I'm referring to at all, but I'm confused. if something like that happens and things like that start to happen and then there's only these certain companies left, they could just charge you to just go there. Right. I mean. You mean like Sam's or Costco? Yeah, but like what if every store <laughs> right. did that and they, oh, yeah, they charge an outrageous amount? Yep, Where else are you going to go? Are you going to go hunt the land? I mean, some people would, but like people in the cities, what are they going to do? Go right. hunt people's dogs? It would happen, I'm sure, but. <laughs> really enjoying the channel keep it up yep we will and we're trying to get better and do different things so oh yeah we're better than around else. some new ideas and stuff about different things we're better than everybody we don't are. mean to brag but yeah <laughs> we are 
Yep. So we were also, um, we were talking about cars and coffee earlier. Oh, yeah. Cars and coffee are coming up, which if you don't know what that is, it's just. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's just a, bun- a place, a bunch of people with cool cars show up. There's a little bit of concessions, coffee. Coffee. Obviously. Coffee. There was uh, there was jerky at the last one. What was there? Yeah. I never and... made it over there. Yeah, I'd, I'm surprised they don't have more vendors. I think some of the bigger ones do, but yeah, the one we, we go ought to, to set is up a vendor, smaller. maybe, maybe hey, shop yeah. the guy vendor. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. So we are gonna wear tomorrow. We're dropping some new shirts which relate to the cars and coffee, which yeah. we'll be wearing up to the cars and also coffee. Also relate so. to some of our jokes that we've done. Yeah, in the yeah. Past. So we'll be wearing them up there. We'll see what the reviews are. They should be pretty funny, I would think. Yeah. So. We'll see. Yeah, this guy says he remembers the 79 Eclipse. I remember those also. We were at school, I think, when it happened. And we I remember going outside, kind of. They made, like, a recess out of it and went out and looked at that. Those glasses back then, though, might not have been quite as good. Maybe that's why I'm wearing these now. <laughs> hey, guys, go look at the sun. Well, there was um, there was some Eclipse when I was in school back in, like, 2019 or something like that. I'm actually curious what that was. Yeah. Cars and Coffee was uh, originally mm. started in Southern California. The first Did it? one, yeah. And uh, I looked a little bit up about it. They actually originally called it uh, just Crystal Cove because that's where it started. And then in 2005, they changed the name to Cars and Coffee, and it's went actually global now. It's in 28 countries. Oh, really? And uh, they have 200 locations in the United States. Almost every state has one, so. Hmm. That's cool. kind of interesting. I wanted to, I wanted to learn more about it, so I looked it up. You researching something? Yeah, 2019. Here it is. Lunar eclipse is what it was in January, and I remember they had us go to the. That just makes it really dark, right? Yeah, it, it just got really. It was a, um, the blood moon thingy. Oh, I think. Okay. Hmm. I think I don't remember what it was. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because it was a total lunar eclipse. That's what it they was. They can't see what we're seeing there, can they? No, they can't see it. We don't but, have that technology. Well, we do, but I just I don't have it on right now. We would have to project it up here, or how does that work? No. You want to see how it works now that you can see the screen? Sure. Hold on. But they can't see what you're about to do? No, they can see it right now. Hold on. Oh, okay. So here's what our screen looks like right now. But sure. if I click this button, it shows our screen. Oh, we're like infinity. There. So then if I go oh, here, man. it'll show there. So, uh, yeah. Gotcha. Now they, they can see that now, so. Cool, but now we can't see anything. Why do we just keep going into We're infinity? Back. Because it's showing the screen. Back and forth? Well, yeah, it's, no, so the it's screen. Like a mirror effect. Yeah, the screen's showing the screen, so then the screen goes on for infinity. Screen, because it's showing the screen, the screen, the screen, the screen, the screen, the screen. screen's growing. Yeah, 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 science. It's ridiculous. You wouldn't understand it. I wouldn't. So. At all. And I wouldn't care. I just asked a quick question. Well, fine. The, what would you think was the coolest car we saw at Cars and Coffee last year? Oh, man. Like the whole year? Yeah. I mean, I mean we went to... that crazy Lambo that was all sponsored up. The Aventador one? That was That a, one, I it didn't even like it that much. I yeah, I didn't, like, I didn't the like the yellow the on it. Yeah. I didn't like the rims. Yeah. Yeah. The interior was a Lamborghini interior, so it was nice as heck, but... Yeah. And it was an Aventador, so it had the butterfly doors and everything. That was awesome, but... I guess I couldn't really pick one out specifically... There was one that had a pretty, I mean, the blower was way up out of the hood oh, and yeah. stuff. That's cool. That uh, Audi R8 that we saw like the first time, second time, something like that. It was that. an older one though, wasn't it? It was like a 2012. It was interesting like seeing that Lotus because that thing was tiny. I've never, I have never seen one in person, I guess. I thought I did, but. They have a uh, uh, they have a new Lotus. Or is it a Lotus? Yeah, Lotus Avera, Amara, something like that. Mm-hmm. But it, uh, it looks super fast it looks someone i was just thinking of this some guy because i got my knuckles up here some guy commented on somewhere and he said uh looks like you got a little more space on your hands you ought to doodle on there with some more crayons or something i'm just like whatever look at that car oh yeah isn't that badass looking they look like a full-size car like they look like a mclaren site well these are they're not real tiny like that one we saw? Uh, I don't think so. That was really weird, I thought. It looks cool, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Now how fast it is? Cool. No. It's a four-cylinder. Only $100,000. Yeah, exactly, but look at the horsepower. We could get two of them or three, maybe. Oh, we could get at least 74 of them. Huh. The V6 first edition is 105000 That's not bad for a car like that. Yeah, but look at this, the horsepower. Yeah, it's slow. No. 
Cause it's yeah, it is. so small and light. No, it's slow. Really? Yeah. It'd be fun on the curves. Zero to 60 of the Lotus Amera is 4.2 seconds. So it, it's so about it's, like a challenge. It's a scat pack. Yeah. Yeah. Which would be, but it looks cool on the curves. Something oh, like that. but it looks awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I think we at least ordered a couple. Yeah. I don't know. They he are pretty clips cool, it. So. Oh, yeah. How does the moon cut his hair? We did that one. He clip. He clips it. <laughs> so what else? What else is new? Have fun at work today. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun. I love work. Anybody have any questions? Or so anything? fun. Like he said earlier, we do have a book. Um, if you've never went to Shop the Guy, just check it out. Yeah, go to shoptheguy.com. What are you doing? Yeah. Just go to it. Go there sometimes. It's literally so. right there. If you watch these lives, you should have went to the shop by now. Help support us so we can get some better equipment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> then our lips will be on. You know? Well, they might be now. I don't know. Yeah. I, I've done a little bit of work to try to up it. And uh, if you guys are watching the channel, we are posting like full-length videos and stuff now. Yeah. Consistently, and there'll be more, and they'll be better, and I'll up the quality. I'll, you know, it's, it's going to get better. But, Yeah. There's that. We're also, these lives we're using as a podcast, and they're on Spotify now also. So you can go to BS with the guy on Spotify. You should recognize the picture of us because it's us. So <laughs> watch when I'm pooping. <laughs> Great. You got to do something in there. Might as well yeah. watch us. So yeah, we are on Spotify now. Pretty cool. Yeah. Just uh, saying a bunch of nothing. Sometimes. No, we're very skilled speakers. We speak. We? Yeah, we, the more we talk. We do it. I mean, we'll get better. We talk, and you know, eventually, maybe we can have some. We like to think of it as just sitting down, a couple of guys talking. You know, no, no pressure. Just whatever you want to talk about. So. I don't think of it like that. <laughs> you bet. I think of it as war. war. Everything we do is war. We have okay. people to beat. We have competition. Sounds kind of violent. Whether they're here or not, we have to beat them. We are constantly at war. Okay. We'll you destroy can, our enemies that, in Mortal Kombat. We were watching some previews uh, <laughs> earlier. That movie Monkey Man, I think that looks really good. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, John, John Wick, Wick style. you know, but it, I think it's um, it's Pakistani or something like that. But I don't know, somewhere over there, Arab. It looks cool, though. Don't ask me. So, somebody said, what was my favorite car? I don't know. Uh it's hard to say. There's so many. You can't. There was an old um, power wagon. Truck oh, that yeah. That thing was cool. That was nice. That yeah. That was really cool. So I like seeing that. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like I own that Camaro and stuff, and I've had Challengers and different Chargers and whatever. But um, it's kind of cool to see something because you see a lot of those at a car show. Camaro, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mustangs, Camaros. It's kind of cool when you see something that's really different. I actually like some of those little. Um, like the road rally style cars. Oh, yeah. Because it's not something you see all the like time. Like the NSX or yeah. whatever it's called and stuff like those that. Those are kind of cool. They're little yeah. four-cylinders with like twin turbos and stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, those, those things are, are cool. It's not something you'd see every day. I mean, Camaros and Mustangs and Corvettes are everywhere even. We did yeah. see one of the Z06s there. Oh, yeah, an orange one. That was cool. Those sound so good. The dealership in town here has one of those. Like, yeah. I don't like the color, but you've subscribed to both. To both of your guys, all your social media. That's awesome. Because we got a lot. So Yeah, we're on so many social medias, yeah, it's kind of silly. Know, probably, how many we're on are. nine different social medias, I think. Nine? Yeah, because I won't even list them all here. You can go to shoptheguy.com and go to the socials page to see that. Uh -huh. They are on there, yeah. Selfish so, plug. Yeah, but that's <laughs> all right. So we were talking about the other day how like we kind of both experienced like a, I don't know if you'd call it like a burnout. I yeah. guess. Yeah. But we kind of both experienced a burnout of sorts where we just kind of had like a lack of motivation and we just didn't really feel like doing anything. Obviously, we still did stuff because. Well, with this, I mean, people say, well, that's easy to do that and stuff. And we work full time jobs, which you still do. But oh, I, I don't. And, I work three full time jobs. guys. People don't. <laughs> Basically. Well, people. I, well, yeah. If you count this and stuff. Yeah. But people don't realize that this is kind of like you're always on. Because uh, you're always doing something with this. You don't really get... I mean, I could be out at a restaurant, and if the time rolls around, there's certain platforms I have to manually actually post things. I can't schedule things. So 
I know people are like, boo hoo, but you know, and yeah, then I, trying to figure out content, trying to make the videos, trying to keep an eye, try to, um, I mean, you try to answer comments, but with all the platforms, it's really hard to keep up with that. Oh, it's I'll like impossible. One. I'm managing, how many do I manage directly? Just one, right? Uh, just one? I, yeah, I think so. I think I directly manage one. I kind of help. I help with multiple, but, well, I help with all of them technically because I edit everything. And then but, Mrs. Guy manages two. Yeah. Two I, I'm i running one, and it's our smallest platform, I think. It's like one of our smallest, and keeping up with the comments just on that is, it's That's a lot. It's crazy, yeah. And I know people probably think, well, hey, you know, I comment on here. He never even says anything back, but it's not because I don't want to. I'm just so, like, I could literally sit down and go through all the platforms and answer comments eight hours and just do nothing but that. Yeah, you just put a little that dent in That would be it. Yeah. And then some of the platforms, if you answer too many at a time, they don't let you keep doing it. Mm -hmm. There's, I don't know why. Hey, let's start a social platform. And then when people are social, let's say they've done it too much for the day. <laughs> <laughs> too much social. You know, it's like trying to follow people and they say, no, you can't follow any more people today. Well, okay, I guess. Fine, I won't follow them. I didn't like them anyways. Yeah. When you but, guys... like, a lot of people will be like, just, some people are like, I worked I worked a full job today. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. That annoys me every time I hear it. Every, like, every time. Yeah. This guy, Gator, when he said, he said when we come to New Orleans, he'll throw a big catfish or a crawfish boil for us. That'd That's, be cool. That sounds fun. We've talked about going down there. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, the you know, with the path that we're going on, the ideas that we have, I'm we're sure we'll go down there. Places. We'll we end just, up down uh, there for sure, yeah. We were just in Tennessee here yep. a while back, what, a month ago or something? Yeah, last month. So that was cool. Oh, just yeah. Getting out. We, we kind of just worked a lot. We didn't do a whole lot of things, but. Yeah. Yeah, so not enough hours in the day. I know. Sometimes. Correct. And sometimes we do get kind of, or I do, maybe not him so much, but I'll get kind of lazy and just you you feel like you need a break from looking at your screen for a while sometimes. And to do everything that I do, I just do it right from my phone. So it's kind of a small screen, which I should do it on a computer, but it's just more convenient on my phone. But it gets kind of, kind of like monotonous. I, I want to say maybe doing it like for a whole day. So I try to go in there and answer. I'll go to one video and just try to get all those answers that I can, read people's comments that I can, and uh, respond. They want to see more doctor videos. That's what uh, Gator says there. More doctor videos? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those. Okay. Yeah, we need to do some more of variety. Sometimes yeah. we get stuck where... We just make, like, the the doctor ones, we'll make a bunch of those all at once, and then we'll make, like, the interview ones at the same time. If the weather's bad outside or something like that, um, we don't do that many in the house. We got kids' pictures, family pictures everywhere, so we would constantly have to be trading those out. Of course, if you notice some of the houses that we do a lot of videos in, those are places we've usually stayed. So, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, like, in the Tennessee uh, the guy wanted us to come out there and make some videos and stuff, so we did that. That was he. Uh, we had access to three houses on that one there, mm -hmm. so that was cool. Stayed out there a few days and pretty much worked a lot. And so we do. We stay at Airbnbs once in a while, and if yeah. anybody listening out there wants us to stay at theirs and tag you in videos and stuff, just holler at us. That'd be cool. So. The five liter Mustang? No, that's not mine. Or I just it? borrowed it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. We've uh, we borrowed a lot of cars through this. Oh yeah, People we have. Are like, where where are you driving that? At? But sometimes we just borrow cars. When I go to work, sometimes people are like, "Did your dad get a new car?" Yeah. <laughs> My oh no, we just borrowed that. One. Yeah, they're like borrowed. What do you mean you borrowed it? Huh. We just borrowed the car. I don't know. Oh, we borrowed that house to make some videos. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys have any empty houses or cars you want us to drive around, that'd be cool. We'll put them in a video or something. Bikes, whatever. We need a sponsor that has uh, side by sides. Yeah. Razor. Razor. Yamaha, even. Yeah. 
any of that stuff. Yeah, the Lodge House, um, that was actually, uh, where was that at? That was on the White River, wasn't it? That was right here. That was pretty yeah, close. but it was on the White River, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was in a town called Mountain close Home, there, Arkansas. Yeah. 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 We looked at one on the White River, I guess. We didn't get that one. Yeah. So, oh, you just started doing what? Ice baths? That's cool. I've done those before. I need to uh, get back into that, actually. Ice baths? You can train judo and me, and your uh, pops can go drink Bloody Marys. <laughs> okay. I don't like beer too much, but how about whiskey? <laughs> so what else? What are we talking about? You want to do an ice bath? Sure. I've done those before. Yeah, they're not bad. I prefer just cold like the water. shower thing, just because I don't Convenience, have an actual really. ice bath. So if you get in the shower, and you... You take your normal shower and then step back, turn it all the way down to cold, let it get cold, and then just hold your breath and breathe, whatever you got to do, step into it. Most people, it like, takes their air away. They're like, right, it does that. Step well, for me, it. every time I get in the water, it makes that sound. It's like, <gasps> oh, really? It's scared of me. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so step in there and just, uh, they say three to six minutes is fine. They say yeah. if you don't, if you do more than three minutes, it's pointless. Right. Everything I've seen about the studies is it's three minutes maximum. Do a video in the ice bath, smoking a cigar and drinking scotch. I could definitely do that. I really miss being able to have um, like actual whiskey and stuff. I mean, I do, but I have to have an account because certain platforms don't want a whiskey bottle showing. Yeah. They don't want cigars. They don't want any of that stuff. So it's like, whatever. I, I don't know. Those were the days, I guess. Those were the days. I mean, we nobody said nothing to us because we, we weren't on the radar yet, I guess. So yeah. now they watch everything we do. So Yeah, we're definitely watched a lot more. Yeah. So. Which, whatever. So I still do smoke cigars occasionally, and I still drink more than occasionally, so. I have not been doing any of those things. Well, it's illegal for you. Well, not here. Not here. No. This, is this guy's household. telling me a joke. Yeah, uh, we've done that one before. If you look back at our stuff, something really similar. It was changed a little bit. Yeah. And people, certain comments were like, hey, you stole that from The Sopranos. Or... You stole that from uh, Gilbert Godfrey. And no, in fact, I did some research on that, and I can't remember. I'll have to look it up again. Oh. That joke was really old. Both of them also stole it, I guess. So, I mean, jokes are made Yeah, to jokes told. are universal. They're just words. They're Change not, them around yeah. a little bit, you know. Uh, I mean, how do you get a six-pack like that? Diet. It's all diet. That's it. Um, fasting helps intermittent fasting. If you do that for, I don't usually do it more than 16 hours at a time, just cause I, I think you get the same benefit from it. Um, I have done what I do that one 86. You hours. ask me every time. Yeah. 86 hours. Well, I'm getting old. I can't remember that stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, but jokes, they're made to be retold. I mean, I'm sure you can't tell me that people that see our jokes don't go tell somebody. Oh, I guarantee. So, you stole my joke. No, yeah, tell we my should joke. Freak out on people. Tell the joke. And have fun. <laughs> laugh. Whatever you gotta do. What about Rumble? Yeah, we're on Rumble. We're on Rumble. Yeah. Yeah, we're on. Well, we're on their competitor. So hopefully the competitor doesn't get mad that we're saying we're on Rumble. Yeah, but we're also on YouTube. Oh. And okay. they're competitors. Yeah. So. <sighs> Guy Senior Workout Regiment consists of what, if I may ask? Well, um, I've been slacking lately, like, because I hurt my arm, so I haven't been, that's been kind of bummed me out. I haven't been able to work out like I want, but normally I would work out like six days a week, and I would just do sometimes seven days, and I don't really have a set plan. I work like uh, back and biceps one day, then I'll do legs if I do legs. I hate doing legs. You can tell from the videos I hate doing legs. But uh, then I'll do like uh, chest and triceps. Then I might do uh, legs again. Then I might do um, shoulders and triceps. Triceps, mine, I could work them all the time. They don't seem to get sore. <laughs> I can work them more often. Yeah. And uh, 
But I'm just, my arm is getting better, I believe, and I'm starting to get back into it now. So that's kind of what I do. And if I work out uh, seven days, I just, I don't, I don't have like rest days then, of course. So I just go every other day. It's not like Monday, every Monday is back and biceps day. I just keep rolling through whatever's next. Yeah, I, I feel like, see, that's the thing is like, I've been called lucky before because I was on a trip and I was spending a good amount of money and I don't like, I work a lot on this and I got called lucky for spending a lot of money on the trip. But people don't realize is that I don't even, I don't hardly sleep. I don't, you know, I don't, I gave up working out pretty much for this for a while, for the most part. I mean, I was working out almost every day. Except for like maybe one or two days a week, I'd take a rest day. I mean, I was going to the gym, working out at Planet Fitness. I canceled my membership there. and we well, got we kind of got a gym here now. Yeah, but we can't do everything Not here. Not everything yet. Yeah. Well, hopefully. So, um, I feel like for a long time, I wasn't really working out a whole lot. Maybe twice a week. Yeah. And it, I don't know how people don't work out sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. I, like I said, I'm just tr- able to get back into it now, so. Where are we from? We are in Arkansas. Uh, the Ozarks. Yep. Northern right, Arkansas. Pretty close to Missouri. We can see Missouri from our house, actually. Yeah. Which is weird to say, but... <laughs> so, yeah, when you're looking out, when we're doing those videos out on the deck there, everybody comments on the lake and how pretty it is and stuff. If you look in the far distance, we're in Arkansas, but that's Missouri, right on the other side of the lake there, so... Oh, yeah. We are, like, right on the border there. Yep, it's pretty cool. When we go on the lake, sometimes we have to, uh, we go from Arkansas. We got to show our passport and everything. And... <laughs> show the passport, <laughs> yeah. But they actually keep the fishing laws the same, which is a good thing yeah. on the lake because since it borders both, mm-hmm. they came to an agreement. Because, I mean, imagine if they had different laws on each side, how much of a pain that would be. And we've never been stopped. Yeah, no. So far, we had them watching us one time. Uh-huh. We had a bunch of people down and we, uh, we have a pontoon boat, but we rented another one that had a slide, and we tied them together out there and just were floating, and the kids were jumping off the top and going down the slide, and um, I don't think they liked the boats tied together like that, because mm-hmm. we were jumping back and forth from boat to boat, getting into coolers or whatever, yeah. we just had a big floating, and I, they watched us for a long time, and then they just took off, so I think it wasn't worth their effort, I guess. But I guess, yeah. Yeah. They just, they recognized it was the guy before you were even on social media as they knew it right. was you. they just knew. Yeah, because that was before. Right, yeah, that was you know, we're, three years ago or so. Oh, yeah, you know, we're coming up on two years of this. Are we? In August. Oh, that's yeah. weird. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. So we're at, what, 20 months now? Hmm. Something like that. No. Yeah. It's crazy. Not on quite everything, though. No. Just their um, start. What if we were only on YouTube Here, and TikTok? Right. So. Yep. And now we're, we're on, um, was that new ink on your hand? No, I haven't got anything new in a while. So it's time to roll out when E.T.'s finger starts glowing. <laughs> um, what were, what was I just talking about a second ago? I don't know what you were talking about. Uh, oh, we were talking oh, about the, the socials. different platforms. Well, yeah. 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 We're on a couple that we actually just heard about, like. One of them we heard about like a month ago. Well, there's the whole thing with the um, potential TikTok ban. Yeah. I and so rule. we, what? I don't know how that's going to go. Yeah. So because of that, we were like, well, we need to be prepared. So we, we uh, started looking around. We started looking around and we're Why not. Let's just be on We're on too. a couple different platforms now that are well, we alternatives. Didn't even know existed. Yeah. <laughs> One of them has a user base of what was it? 150 million. And we've yeah. never heard of it before. Never we're like, okay. So we're on there now and we're on a couple others and uh this guy said everyone's getting famous from the youtube now don't even watch tv everything is youtube and that's funny because you look at all these celebrities and stuff yeah. think of how much of a big deal celebrities used to be compared to how they are now right. i feel like celebrities aren't that big of a deal anymore yeah. because i mean i think the skill level to become a celebrity is less or at least in the way that like Everyone that was a celebrity it's before. It's easier to get yourself out there now. Yeah, everyone that was a celebrity before was 
it was because they're in a movie or they're in a TV show. Now, oh, some to, guy can be yeah. in podcasts. Some right. guy can just be you have more on a reality regular reality um, YouTube channel. Someone can be yeah. telling dad jokes on the internet. And so, How many subscribers do you have? Um, so, like 1.1 million altogether. Yeah. Uh, the subscribers do not pay us themselves unless they're in, like, some extra things like Instagram – uh, yeah, we tried floating around like an extra thing there for a while, and we haven't really had time to develop that. Yeah, so um, we don't get paid directly from subscribers. We get paid from uh, the actual platforms based on views, and we get paid from sponsors. So, yep. Otherwise, uh, it doesn't cost you guys. It's free to you guys. So free content we pump free. out. So we have like over two thousand videos out now, which is crazy. That's weird, huh? Yeah, two thousand <laughs> videos. That's crazy. Yeah. I know when I go to, because on some places I have to actually scroll down just like anybody does. I can't search. Mm, so if I want to so look weird. at something, I scroll and scroll and scroll to get way down there. I'm like, wow, I forgot about that one. Or, mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of weird to look way back and see our quality because our sound was horrible and mm-hmm. everything was fuzzy. And we, you know, because we didn't know what we were doing, but we yeah. were slowly figuring all this out. So, uh we are being ourselves right now, even if we are kind of boring. I don't know. We're not boring. We're the greatest people on the internet ever. Okay. Yeah. We appreciate all you guys, the fans and stuff, because you guys are what makes us do this. So. Yeah. Of course, we might act goofy and stuff. We probably just wouldn't film it. Yeah, we just wouldn't film it. We wouldn't tell as many jokes, probably, but. I mean, it's kind of like a bunch of guys sitting around a campfire telling jokes and having a good time, you know? Yeah. So. Nice. A Whopper is $18 in California. Wow. That's insane. That's all? Uh, Don't forget, guys. We do. Didn't mute us. No, I don't think so. How can you tell? This thing right here. Okay. I can boop it. Gotcha. It's still working. Try talking. Hello. Okay, yeah. I'm technologically impaired, so. Me too. We got our book. You guys can go check it out. It's the crazy ones. Crazy stories with the guy. Someone's asking if we stole a dad joke from somebody. I can't see. There's like a heart thing in the way. Uh, Prime or Peachy something. Prime. I've never heard of them. So I've Yeah, I've never heard of them. They must be stealing from us. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Peachy Prime, huh? Okay. We will obliterate her. Well, <laughs> that's not very nice. <laughs> How many followers does she have, I wonder? And what is she on? I, you love the live feeds? Thanks. That's cool. Sometimes I feel like there's dead air or... Cause we are trying to get better. This is just kind of a new thing to us. I mean, we don't uh, we don't go live a lot. So oh, we're starting people to People that go live yeah. all the time kind of get in a rhythm and pattern, know what to talk about. Yeah. You know, I feel I feel like right now we're probably not as exciting as we could be. But um, we're getting better. Yeah, and we'll get... We get better, and the more people we get on here that give us feedback and questions and stuff, that also helps, because then we know what you guys want to talk about for future shows, so, yeah. What are you doing now? Looking that lady up. What was her name? Peachy Prime. You guys are great. Hopefully, one day, you could quit your full-time jobs and do this and go big time. Yeah. Your wife doesn't like the spotlight. What is what this? What the hell? Who is this? This is her? Uh, no. <laughs> What'd you just bring out? I don't know. I, I don't like, want to know. What are we looking at here? That must be her stage name. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> is this it? I don't Little know. Squishy? What? Little Squish. I don't know what you're trying to do here. I, I'm looking up what they said. PG uh, Prime? Are they just trying to get me to look stuff up? <laughs> Maybe so. What was the thing when we were driving that time? You asked thing? me this last know, live, and I don't it know. Hilarious. You got to figure that out. Can't you go back and look at that? You have TikTok, too. I don't know how to do that. Become a nerd. Waiting on a TV show or a movie about you guys, I think it would be spectacular. We've talked about doing We've that, actually. We've talked about it, yeah. We need to just do it and see what happens. The amount of work it would take, though, and I have a 9 yeah. to 5. Right. Once you're out of that, we'll do it. I, I'm not quitting that. The job. Ever. 
Ever? What? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, boss. <laughs> work forever. Yeah. Um, the wife said from the beginning that she didn't want, uh, like, too much of the house in the videos because of the pictures we got everywhere. It's more personal. So that's why we do most of them outside or other locations. Also, she doesn't want to be in the videos, but she did. We did talk her in at least her voice. So I guess that's what we get. There's you know, lot, and my daughter, I don't allow her to be in them, even if she wanted to be. She's just young, and I don't want her exposed to that. So she, well, here's the thing. We I was. Voice. It's funny because I was just listening to a podcast today about this scientist guy that he researches how phones affect people. And so there's the depression anxiety spike in 2012 when phones became a household. Mm-hmm. Everyone was, had cell phones all the time. Right. In 2012, that started spiking, and it's been spiking since. Teenagers used to be the happiest people. Teenagers and 60-plus people mm-hmm. were the happiest. And teenagers are now, like, I think the most depressed. Mm-hmm. Well, according to what they say. What about the 60-plus? I didn't check on them. I have but... something to look forward to. I'm going to be happy again <laughs> when I hit 60. <laughs> <laughs> but... The way he described it was funny because he was talking like how all these kids have screens now, like how it's crazy to me even, and I'm younger. So most people would probably look at me and be like, well, you're young. It's like, no, the younger people have phones and they have iPads and stuff now Mm -hmm. that they're just glued to. And the way he was describing it, it was, he was, he was like, would you put a screen in your baby's crib that advertisers had connection to. You couldn't see what was on that screen. No. But advertisers could do whatever they wanted and broadcast it to your kid right there. And then when, like, say your little daughter hits, like, 12 years old, she gets social media. Well, that's like, would you put a window in your little girl's room that strangers could just look through whenever they want and just look at your kid? Yeah. Like, it is, no. It is weird to think about. That's, it's crazy. You never know who's on the other end of that thing. Yeah. So This guy's got a sensei and stuff from Arkansas. Gator does. Yeah. That's pretty cool. There's always weekends. What now? I don't know what we're talking about. You should do a great job on that. You are doing. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that's the, the lure. Uh, it's kind of also like uh, Wilson in um, Home Improvement. He was always hiding behind the fence when they talked to him. <laughs> you could see like his eyes sometimes. You might see his mouth or whatever, but never saw the whole thing. You know. Yeah. Charlie's <laughs> Angels. You don't see. Uh, you don't see Charlie. So, what else? We've talked about our list. Our whole list. I think so. How long have we been on here? Can you see, where 43 do you see that? Three minutes. Yeah. Wrap it up? Sure. All right, guys. All right, guys. Before we head Thank out, you. go check out shoptheguy.com. Check out shop the guy. There's this. There's our new book. We There's also shirts, hats, socks, shoes, water bottles, shorts, leggings, yeah. uh, sweatpants. I don't have sunglasses. <laughs> I'll see if you're paying attention. I'm always paying attention. There's some little thing flying around here. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be back All on, right. and we'll be more entertaining next Thursday. So That's right. Thank we'll you. We'll see you guys then. Have a good night. Thanks.